Hello, welcome to this short video in which I'm going to show you how to do this in Windows 10. So this is a feature in Windows 10 called multiple desktops or virtual desktops. I mean, it's built in. You don't need to install anything to access this. It's actually been around for a very long time, um, but it's also a very underused feature in Windows 10. So let's get straight in how you do it. Um, all you need to do is click on the task view button, which is down here, bottom left, and um, between the search and the file explorer, you click on task view. And what this does is opens up all your open applications. So these are all the windows that I've currently got open. And I'm just going to click on new desktop up here. So this is the plus sign and the new desktop. And this then opens up the second desktop. So this is a virtual desktop where you can open up new windows. We're going to create a couple more. So let's click on the plus sign here under new desktop. And again, so I've got now three new desktops. Now there aren't any windows open in these at the moment. So I've only got my applications open on my primary desktop. So these, as I said, are all the applications that I've got open. So I've got some code here that I'm editing. This is Visual Studio Code. I'm going to move that onto desktop two. Now to do that, you left click, hold down, slide the window across, and then only let go when you get over desktop 2. So that's now moved that application into desktop 2. Uh, let's move my YouTube channel here. I'm going to put that onto desktop 3. And then I've got the file explorer here. I'm going to move that onto desktop 4. Well, I've now got all the open windows into different virtual desktops. And to get into any of these, you just click on them. So we'll go back to my primary desktop. We'll click on there. This opens up. And then to move between these virtual desktops, you use the Control and Windows key. So that's on the left hand side at the bottom of your keyboard, the Control and the Windows key together, just hold them both down. And then on the bottom right hand side of your keyboard, using the left and the right arrows, you move between the windows. I'm now holding down the Control and the Windows button, and then moving the right arrow, and I move along, all my windows so I'm now on desktop 4 and then to move back again control and windows again I'm using the left arrow and I move back now there is another way that you can get into the task view so if you don't want to click on this task view button you can hold down the control and the tab and that brings up sorry the windows and the tab so it's the windows button and the tab that brings up the same view that you did with clicking on task view so the windows 10 task view shortcut key is the windows key and the tab key which is the bigger button toward just beside the queue and then you bring up your task view again now to close down these desktops you simply if you wanted to just click the cross and they go away all the open windows that you had within each virtual desktop then moves um, back to where it came from. So I've now closed off all my desktops and all the open windows are now back onto that single desktop. Now I'll tell you one thing, there is, one thing you cannot do um, with the Windows 10 virtual desktops is rename um, any of these. So they say desktop 1, desktop 2. So I'm not sure if this is going to be released as a, a new feature, um, but it would be great if you could rename this one, you know, work, this one video. Um, but that feature is not available. They are just called desktop one and two. So I hope you enjoyed watching this short video. And my name is Roger Perkin. Um, I'm a network and security consultant. I'm based in the UK. I mainly make videos on Python and Ansible and network automation. Um, but I've just come across this um, feature that I'd not knew, known about before. Um, I'm a Windows 10 user. Um, I thought it was a great thing to share. So please um, hit that thumbs up if you like the video. Um, consider subscribing. And also, I'd love to hear um, how you found this and if it's helped you. And please pop a comment in the box below if you'd like to see any more Windows 10 tips and tricks. 
and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you.